Stephen Key here, and I have a special guest, um, Mark, and his wife, My his lovely buddy. wife. Ida Nicolich. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. And, and you're down in Henderson, Nevada, is that correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, and you're an inventor, entrepreneur, is that correct? Yeah, Marina came up with this uh, beautiful idea for her hair, um, ponytail extension, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, she was just kind of dabbling in this stuff, and she didn't know what to do with it. And, I, you know, I've had a little bit of uh, experience myself, so okay. I decided to, you know, put forth my efforts to try to get it going. And it took some time. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about the invention. Let me see it again. If you could move over just a tad for the camera. Oh, very nice. Some extension for the, you know, that I became with this idea because my hair is very poor. Okay. You know, and I always like to brace my hair, okay. but it's never, I never have enough hair. <laughs> and what I did when I, it was a long time ago when I, uh, you know, before I came to US and I was like young and I tried to, you know, make this hair. I, I just was buying uh, just ponytails like with a, a clips and I cut it. And I make myself just like hiding there and, and, uh, under my hair that like, my hair looks nice. And I, I, I have, a, you know, a lot of compliments from people because everybody thinks it's mine. But it wasn't mine. <laughs> I just was hiding. That is a, <laughs> I became with this idea and I told Mark because the mo a lot of extension in the market, but you can see that it's, it's like, it's like, it's like uh, not your original hair. A lot and of them have a, like clips or glues, but her invention yeah. actually kind of tethers into the hair so it actually it's three pieces put together okay. so when she breaks her hair into three sections for a ponytail it just kind of like braids it, right into her hair it's like a principle mm -hmm. like you when you want to do the braids you separate your hair for three pieces and you oh. start braid right and that is a, my extension is special de developed for this it's already three pieces here, and you just put under your hair, under each piece, and start braiding with your own hair. And see the uh, the stretchy cord is like really, it's pretty tough. You can't really break it. It holds up to like 30 some pounds. Okay. So it kind of like locks it in almost like a rubber band. So when she puts it in, you can't really pull it out. You You'll know? see, and you, you never lose. So it locks in. It's almost like the Chinese finger type thing. You, know, where... you don't damage your hair with the clips. Nothing, and you know, you really like when it's it's already there, you know, it's done. You can do everything you want, and it's gonna be here, and it's nice. Very, <laughs> it's, it's, you know it's, what I like about the product you just showed me? You did a nice demo, very quick. Yeah, you showed exactly it, how it works. Congratulations! I love when some someone does it that way. Um, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about um, how did you create this? Did you manufacture it yourself? Yeah, what happened was she came up with the idea, and she brought it up to me, and I was like, uh, I'll try to figure something out. So okay. we ended up going out, buying like a whole bunch of different types of hairs from Sally's. Uh, we bought real hair. We bought fake hair. Okay. So then basically I sat at the dining room table, and I cut the hair. Right. <laughs> I tried 5,000 different types of glues. Um, right. Glue and hair doesn't work out too well. No. <laughs> so finally, after probably around six months of time, okay. I've been working at this every day just about, I came up with a way to actually make the ends with the rubber band the way they are now. And uh, it, was, it was a little difficult. Okay. So once I got it to that point, then you know I didn't I never sourced anything anything I, I mean I, it was not my bag you know so what ended up happening was I tried to get a hold of some companies in China which was very difficult because I just don't speak Chinese or anything so finally <laughs> so finally I got a hold of a couple of companies and the one kept sending me it just took a long time they kept sending me samples and they were really getting close to what we really wanted. And I told her what I wanted to do. I was taking pictures, videos, exactly what I was looking for. And the last sample she sent me was like totally, totally wrong. I was like, I was just like, what, what is this? You know? So I found another company that went through the same process. And then they finally uh, came across and they got it done. 
So they sent me like a bunch of them, maybe five or six of them. Then I turned around and we ended up sourcing like a thousand units. Okay. And a minimum quantity. How did you find the companies? How how were you? Were they online or through I to, Alibaba? How did you I went find to Alibaba. Them? Yeah, I did the Alibaba. Okay. And I just went through the whole process of trying to find companies that deal with hair. Okay. And a lot of them do wigs and a lot of them do extensions. But see, this is kind of a new process with the, you know, the bands and like nobody, nobody does it, you know. So it was kind of like they had to figure it out themselves. So now I finally got a company and they could make them and ship them very cheap now, you know, it's, but it's fake hair. You know, we so use the, the, so the first order is a minimum quantity you have the order, is that correct? Mark? Yes. We did a thousand units. Um, we kind of made a mistake. We were going to team up with a guy. We were going to use uh, like in a kiosk in a mall. We thought it'd be a really good product. So we ended up putting them in boxes. So when we figured if we were in the kiosk, you know, they, they look great in the boxes. But one of the biggest problems we had was it cost a lot to ship these boxes. You know, like one of these hair, you know, if I would have put them in bags, I could have probably fit like maybe four to one box. So it cost a lot of money to ship these. You know, the shipping was very expensive from China. So, but we thought it would be more effective selling them in the mall, you know, like at a kiosk, you know, at the mall. That is so, look, we've been an international show here in Las Vegas, and yeah. I have a very big success. You know, it's like in the corner where we, my kiosk was, you know, people were, when they see how it's worked, because this is brand new way, it, nobody knows about it. And everybody asks, how, how it's worked? We don't understand. It's a clip. I said, no, it's not a clip. It's like this. <laughs> I was selling like, like, uh, like uh, probably 400 per day. It's a three days only show every day, and people were buying, sending, and other people very successful. Yeah. That's the way, because right now we don't have a good commercial. You know, we try, but still, when we do the video, people still don't understand how. I already don't know how to explain to people. It's, it's a, so easy when you get this, but people, how? Yeah. We didn't get it. We don't understand. But when I was in a show, and I show people were buying, and everybody, like, who was around me, they told me, you got to keep working, you got to go to somewhere to help you to, you know, to some it's people to bit. shark tanks and somebody yeah. said to shark tank, like so somewhere, but it's, it's a, everybody said it's a great product. People who, and nothing like this in the market. It's a thousand extension, thousand ponytail, but from nothing you can break. Because they, they like this, so how are you hiding? Because they like this. And this one especially created three pieces like in your braids. You, you know what you might try? You might What's reach that? out to someone at Q, QVC. Yeah, we tried them. Um, we don't really know anybody there, so we kind of get the. Mm -hmm. I've gotten the door closed down <laughs> as I watch your videos. I, I've been told no, maybe I don't even know how many times. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are they saying, Mark? Why? Why do they say no? What's happening? Well, it's either like they're not interested in beauty supplies right now, or okay. you know, this is a beauty product, and then. You know, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know the right people there. But I'm just kind of generically throwing it into their website, and I kind of I do it every once in a while, you know, and I'll put it in. And um, obviously, you know, we've tried a few different ones, Sally's Beauty Supply, but QVC I think would be great because, like Miranda said, it's a product that if you show it and how to do it, mm -hmm. people get it. But if you look at, it's very difficult to do a good video on it. But like when we were in this uh, international beauty show, people were walking up, and uh, Marina had some of her friends there, and they were like, you know, put it in their hair, they walk away. <laughs> they, they love it, you know. So how a, how else are you selling it? Are you online selling it? Yeah, we're on Amazon. Pretty much, that's about it. And uh, but it's probably you know, hard because you need to do a demo video for people to see. Yeah. It. Yes. You need to get good and demonstration. And that's one of the, the struggles we've had is trying to get, you know, the product out there, which is, you know, it's a whole different ball game. I mean, for what we did getting this product to where it is took a lot of work because it was nothing. It was just an idea in Marina's head that she did, like, what, probably 25 years ago. <laughs> How many years have you been working on this? I think it's probably three now. Yeah, we start in 2016 in October, oh. I remember. Yeah. Well, that's not too long. 
No, mm-hmm. no, it hasn't. It's actually gone pretty quick. The hardest part was getting it sourced. And now I get them sourced and, you know, they can ship them right to my door right now for under $2. That's done, shipped, everything. So, I mean, okay. there's a good markup on them, you know, but we just got to get it out to the right people and try to figure out that part of it, you know, licensing yeah. agreements or whatever. When you knew in this business, you never did anything like this. You yeah, made a lot, a lot of mistakes already. We have wrong people. We're just wasting our time, you know, and a lo- we waste already a lot of money. And for, I mean, for the wrong people, we keep keep going, but it's just like you learn. You're new. <laughs> you don't know anything. Yeah. It's, we need to That's somebody I, lead us. It's like I a watch course. a lot of your videos. <laughs> I get, in fact, the one girl I was chatting with, she was actually nice. She put a word in, I guess, to you. Um, she made the board at the for the dorms. <laughs> so I was chatting with her, and she was she loved this. I showed it to her, you know, and very nice girl. You know, every once in a while I, I watch, and I'll you know find somebody, and I'll talk with them, you know, back and forth. So I learn, and uh, we wanted to use your program. I think we're probably going to because we're just hitting like a lot of brick walls, and we just it's tough. I mean, it is. it's not well. Sometimes um, your product takes education. Yeah. And, and that sometimes is a little difficult, but the right avenues like a QVC and you probably just need to have someone to walk it in for you that understands it, like the rep with you. We have a student, uh, Ryford, that he hasn't licensed, but he's been on QVC, a manufacturer now for six times. Is that the beer guy? Yeah. <laughs> I watch all your videos. <laughs> yeah. And he's done very well with that on QVC. Yeah. And, I see uh, that. Yeah. It's good. Well, thank you for coming on and sharing your story. Yeah, absolutely. It's It does take time. You know that. And yeah. it takes uh, dedication. You know that, too. <laughs> it, uh, it takes money at times. You know that, too. But if you have a product that's selling that well at a trade show, you have something. Yeah. You just have to figure out the right pieces because that is magic. If you can duplicate that, you have magic. Yeah. So don't forget yeah, that. Yeah. That's why we think it's a great product for like QVC or something like where you could demonstrate it, you know, and people I think will buy it. But if you go to like the videos that we've done, we try to get them right, but they're just not, you know, I had a conversation with the one woman, very nice lady. She's part of uh, yours. She's got the clip. She's out in England. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice woman. Very nice. You know, and she gave me a lot of pointers, you know, but she still didn't understand it. You know, like how it really works, you know, and it, that's a, even explaining it and showing it, people but, don't get it. Well, you know? and didn't get it. It's so, so simple to me, but people didn't get it. But some of people, when they demonstrate, they catch right away and they start like, I, you know. I, the... My recommendation is work on your video some more because yeah. what you showed me, I got it. Okay. You just have mm-hmm. to go, take it slow show how you separated the hair in the back to three, like you're going to braid. Yeah. And because you got it lined up just to continue the braid. That that seems pretty easy. It does. But believe it or not, some people don't understand that. <laughs> it's like... It's... And we just made a video. I hired the model and we, we already like should show everything like with separate pieces. But the same, like this, this lady told us, she still didn't get it. She doesn't understand. I already don't know how to make a video that people understand it. Because when they see, you know, uh, when you see, like, if you need them and you show them, they, they get it. But, like, people ask me questions, how you hold the hands? That It's like I, I didn't get it how to explain to them. You know? For me, it's so simple. But for some of people, people are different, maybe. Some of, like... You know, they get it right away. Some of like they don't understand. Yeah. You know. Well, you. I think um, the younger generation is going to be able to do that really easy. I know Courtney yeah. that saw it. She's a little younger. Yeah. And I bet yeah. she loved it. Yeah, yeah she did. Yeah. I said this is. And great... I, I was going to say that this product can be used for different ways, and it can be, uh, it can be using like. Um, uh, Different color. We have like three three colors now. What we order it's kind of popular now, but it can be natural color for people who like wants to 
so do the volume for the hair, the braids, you know, it's like different color, different, uh, uh, you know, it can be shorter, it can be mm. longer, you know, if we have a long one, but some people don't need so long braids, but they can cut it, it's so many we, simple. We thought know. about doing like uh, red, white, blue, you know, like holiday colors. Holidays, we're you thinking know. about this, so, yeah. Good. You know, like cool colors, okay. you know, stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Well, pleasure. Thank you for coming on and yes. watching so, the videos. and. Yes. Keep definitely. me updated, okay? Yes, we definitely will. All right. We appreciate your time and everything, and watch all your videos, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, thank, thank you very much, and good luck. Okay, thanks a lot, Thank Stephen. you. Bye-bye.